Hey, what's going on everybody? Nemesis Prime 85 coming at you with another video and today we're gonna be doing a collection update because if I'm being honest with you, I don't really feel like reviewing anything. So I thought I'd just update you guys on what's going on in the collection because in my opinion that's more fun than actually looking at a separate figure so you can see it with everything. So we'll get right into it. So obviously the review setup right here and there's a knife and then Nothing's really changed in this side of the room. We still got the poster right there and the Autobots logo and then all my sealed stuff. Nothing's changed with that. Still trying to get my hands on a Megatron and a sealed uh, Optimus. And then moving over to the main portion, I've kind of rearranged it. Don't know if the last time we did this, but I moved some of my C stuff right up here. And then still Dead Prime. Probably one of my favorite things in the collection, honestly. And then some little uh, blind bag mini Transformers. G1 Prime. And then TEO one. Haven't really changed up top a lot. Uh, I did get my hands on an MPM Ironhide from Ross. Which, if I'm being honest with you, this is an amazing figure. If you have the chance to find one of these at a Ross, get your hands on it. And it just kind of brings together these two a little bit more uh nothing's changed with dragoon and challenger i did move them up here i'll show you guys why in a second i've again changed up the uh the pose on challenger mp10 and rodimus haven't changed that model kits not really any, any new updates uh moving over here to the studio series uh, i did get my hands on a blitzwing nothing's really changed it's just super dark in there uh, coming over to the Autobots, haven't really changed much. Uh, but now we'll get into the big changes. So I separated my Autobots and Decepticons for Earthrise and Siege. So up top, Skywarp, Thundercracker, and Megatron. Then down here, I got my hands on a Siege Barricade from Ross. Uh, the Centurion Drone got a Shockwave from Target. And Shockwave, he's an awesome figure. If you can get your hands on one, definitely do that uh then back there's astrotrain and hotlink and starscream and then i got the energon cubes in the case or the case the cage for ravage and then over here is a little cassette soundwave uh the autobots uh i got my hands on a siege ultra magnus from ross and then i got galaxy upgrade prime back there uh then of course earthrise prime with a little roller back there telling the trailer uh, I also got my hands on a Springer at Ross, and uh, I got Blue Streak uh, when he went back up on Walgreens' website, and he is an amazing figure. And then I found uh, Smokescreen at Target, and this is just this is what I love. Like I just I want to create a full G1 cast of characters, and we're slowly getting there. Uh, my Ironhide and Prowl got pushed back to December. I know that happened to a lot of people. I am one of them. Um, so I'll get reviews out on them when I can. And my hands are very shaky and I'm like veering off. But yeah, these two amazing figures. I do love that smoke screen, but I feel like a lot more love went into Blue Streak, even though they're basically the exact same figure. I just feel like Blue Streak's a little bit more higher quality. But... There's the Siege and Earthrise. Uh, I moved Power of the Primes figures down here. And then I grabbed my uh, original Cobra Commander and put him out now that G.I. Joe's back. And the big thing that I want to review but haven't, I finally finished Studio Series Devastator. And I gotta say, he is a beast. Like, I love this thing. So I can't wait to get my hands on a DNA upgrade kit so I can make this even better. I uh, made a few additions to the pops. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but there's the Iron Man snapping. Got a reverse flash. Uh, the Walking Dead stuff. Uh, speaking of the Walking Dead, we got the poster there. And then I did make a loose seal from the Walking Dead. We'll, we'll grab this. Didn't end up making a loose seal. And I think this is flipping awesome. A lot of you probably don't watch The Walking Dead, but I am a huge Walking Dead fan, and Negan has always been my favorite. 
And then nothing's changed over here, except I did get a cog from Ross to go with Fort Max. So I have that again. No huge changes uh, over here. Uh, the Marvel stuff has not changed. And then the Joes down here, Gung Ho died. We'll get Gung Ho standing again. Come on. Uh, the Joes coming together very well. I've had to record this video three times, but I got Blue Streak in, then I got Prophet Director, Destro, uh, Prophet Director Destro in, and then the Red Ninja, and then Gung Ho. So this is like the third or fourth time I've tried to record this. So hopefully I don't get any packages by the time I upload this. So, yeah. And then uh, some minor changes. Uh, nothing's really changed with the boxes. Have iron hide up there. I'll be 10. I did. It's a kind of a mess, but I moved the Netflix boxes up here because... Like I'm, I'm gonna eventually have to gonna have to move Earthrise and Siege to separate parts of the closet because, yeah, this is this is not gonna work. Uh, one thing I also did get is I got a uh, I got a Siege Star Scream from Ross, but I'm just leaving him sealed. So there you go. So not really a lot of updates, but I thought I'd still give you an update. Uh, it didn't really. He's still there, but didn't really have much that I added, but still worthy of a update. And it's now dumping rain outside, so that's fun. But yeah, uh, like I said, this is probably my favorite part of the collection because Hasbro is just, their Earthrise figures are insane. There you have that. So, if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you're notified. And hit the bell icon so you're notified when I upload. Always screw those parts up. Um, comment down below if there's anything you want me to review or if there's any changes you want me to make to the display that you think would look cooler. I'm always open to suggestions. Uh, my upload schedule, kind of crazy. I'm probably going to get a review out on Devastator and Blitzwing. Maybe Blue Streak and Smokescreen. Uh, and then the Red Ninja and Gung Ho still have to do videos for them. But yeah, that's really all there is to it. So I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.